Guys, we're gonna do a big old Wagyu brisket on my Louisiana Grills Black Label Pellet Grill coming up. What's up guys, welcome to CJ's Q. I'm CJ, and if you're a returning subscriber, part of CJ's Q crew, you know I love you. <laughs> and if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that thumbs up, make sure you subscribe, make sure you comment down below all that good stuff all right guys so today we are going to do like i said a big old wagyu brisket i've already trimmed up this bad boy i'm going to go ahead and cue that time lapse <laughs> of the the trimming so guys as you can see here it's a big old brisket it's probably about 17 pounds give or take i'm going to go ahead and trim off probably a good four to five pounds of it there's tons of fat on this, you could just imagine because it's a Wagyu uh, brisket, so there's plenty of fat marbling through it. So I'm going to leave about a 1 8 inch cap, more or less, over the whole brisket. I've cut a little bit of the top off uh, just because it was sticking out, it would cook funny. You guys want to trim up your briskets to be more aerodynamic, so you know the, the heat runs around it real good. And... Uh, I seasoned it up with some Kribby Q Big and Bold and the AP seasoning from Kribby Q. I'll put a link down below for uh, Kurt's website too. Not an affiliate either, just he's a good dude and I like working with him. So anyway, uh, that's it. Guys, this is just a backyard cook. This is not competition style. Um, you know, if you want a competition video, you know, I know there's plenty of people out there doing great competition brisket videos. You know, Smoking Joe's Pit Barbecue, Chicken Fried Barbecue, uh, James from Mama McClamo Smokers, Kit Vanny Weird at uh, Daddy Dutch Barbecue. All these guys have plenty of great cooks on there with their briskets and can show you how to do it comp style. But this is just a backyard cook. We're feeding the family. Uh, the trimming turned out perfect. Uh, all the trimmings that you see me take off, either I'm gonna use the, the fat to make some beef tallow or I'm gonna use the, the trimmings with a lot of the meat and the fat on there that is gonna go into some ground up hamburgers. Ground up Wagyu brisket hamburgers, there's nothing better. And actually I did some on my Ninja Foodie Grill on my main channel, uh, Cooking with CJ, and I'll put the link up in the iCard so you can check that out. But it was fun to grind it up, it was awesome flavor on the burgers, so you gotta give it a try. This is gonna be a fairly long cook. Maybe not quite hot and fast, but it's not quite low and slow. We're just gonna let the temperatures and the colors tell us where we wanna be. We wanna build a nice clean bark on there and uh, we want it to be nice and tender and tasty. Probably a few hours in, we're gonna do the wrap. We'll wrap in some butcher paper. Just easy as can be, guys. Don't overthink your briskets. It's just a big old piece of meat you're trying to get some smoke on. And speaking of smoke, you know, this, this pellet grill puts out some smoke. But I'm gonna also add one of these easy smoker tubes, put some pellets in there, light it up, let it burn for about five minutes, blow it out, and then it'll produce smoke the whole cook. All right, and I'll put a link down below for this, this uh, easy smoker. All right, that's it guys, nothing left to do, but let's uh, get the brisket on. I already have it turned on. We're gonna go 300 degrees and just see where it takes us, okay? And we'll keep monitoring it. We'll spritz if we need the spritz. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a good one. All right, trust me on this one, okay? Come on back and we'll uh, get this thing started. All right, guys, we're coming up the temp in there. I want to go ahead and get this on while it's smoking. All right, got our tube going. I have the point towards the heat end. We have it jacked up on a half or a, on a pan right here. Um, fat cap down, the heat's coming from underneath. That deflector only does so much, so I want to have it just a little bit higher. Got the fat down to protect the meat so we don't end up with uh, brisket jerky. And uh, I'm gonna get both of these temp probes in there. I'm gonna do one in the point. Gonna take it through the port. That's helpful. Okay, let's try that again. Into the point. All right, take the other one and get this one into the flat. So we have a good idea how it's cooking, how it's rolling. We're gonna cook this to more of you know a color range but it's nice to know the temps you know as we go so that's why i put the probes in um that's it guys i mean there isn't much more to it 
we're getting the, gonna get a nice smoke on it. With that, we have the competition blend from uh, Pit Boss in there. I have a feeling I'm gonna need to load up a little bit more pellets a little ways through the cook. But so far, so good. We're gonna get it to 300. Uh, it's working right now. The auger's putting pellets in there. It's firing up. That brisket looks money. And it's gonna taste money, I know it for sure. All right, guys, make sure you stick around for this one. It's gonna be a good one, all right? Come on back. All right, guys, we're about an hour in. It's looking pretty good. We got plenty of moisture. So we've got a little divot right there, all right? So I don't want that pulling up. So I'm, I'm gonna do a little trick that Harry Sue does. I'm gonna put this piece of wood underneath down there on the grill grate and then it'll push up that middle part and then we'll have a nice even surface make sense so you can see i put the little piece of wood underneath there raised up that spot it's looking good nice brisket <laughs> if you don't pat your brisket how, how does it know that you're gonna love it get that fat running through there you know what they say about fat equaling flavor. And that drip pan there, I put a little bit of water underneath there so like nothing scolds but or burns. But it's basically just to catch the drippings. Alright, pretty good. Alright guys, we're about two and a half, three hours in. We got still a little bit of moisture there, but it's starting to tack up a little bit in here. Do the scratch test, it's doing good. The smoking tube's still smoking. We're gonna go ahead and give this a spritz. Give this a spritz. All right. Get that in part there. They're drying out a little bit over here. We'll definitely take care of that. Otherwise, look pretty dang good. All right, uh, we're tipping out about 170 in there right now, but I wanna get this bark developed a little bit more. So we're gonna let it go a little bit longer before we try to wrap it, okay? Alright All right, guys, we are four and a half hours in. It's looking pretty good. I just gave it a spritz and that's why it's looking pretty moist. Uh, we still got some smoke hitting it. Probably gonna wrap in another hour or so. I moved it around too. Just get it, uh, switched it from side to side. Just trying to get a little, uh, you know, different heat on it. But it's looking pretty dang good. All right, All right, guys, we're about five and a half hours in. It's nice and juicy, kept it moist, but we got some good bark on here. All right, I think it's time we get it wrapped up in some butcher paper. Get it back in here. All right, let's get back in the kitchen. We are ready to get this thing wrapped up. It definitely pudged up on us a little bit, so that's okay. We get this wrapped up real good to go. You want to wrap it up as tight as you can get it. Nice little package. I did not spritz it. I did not add more to it. I want to keep the bark on there as good as it's going to get. We're going to put this still back on, fat side down. And that's how we've set it up right now. And uh, it's good to go. All right. A couple more hours and hopefully we'll be eating some good brisket. All right, guys, a little bit longer and we'll slice into this bad boy. About ready to do this, get it unwrapped. Got our brisket right there. Got my big old doll strong knife. Let's cut into this. Put all them juices, juice on the loose. Look at that. Got that good bark. Got plenty of juices in there. Fill that away. Not bad, not bad. Almost like I know what I'm doing. Almost. All right. Let's get let's get the brisket on the cutting board. Move this over here. All right, we're gonna get to the plop test. <laughs> Jiggly. Look at that. Just jiggling, baby. All right, guys, I'm just gonna cut right halfway through it just so we can see what we wanna see. All right, 
Look at that, nice little smoke ring. I hate squishing the brisket, but all right, you can see the drips. It's drippy, looking good. All right, so there's the point. Let's cut a little of this flat off. All right, so there's your bin test. Got a little pull to it. It's not falling apart. All right, y'all, we are done. This brisket is awesome. I'm excited for this. So I put these on about 10 a.m. this morning. It is now seven o'clock. So nine hour brisket, probably 14 pounds after I trimmed everything off. But boy, does it look amazing. Plenty of marbling all the way through. This is gonna make some, this can make some awesome meals coming up. Obviously, it's a big old brisket. We got the family to feed. We're gonna, we're gonna we'll put some stuff together with this stuff for sure. All right. But I know y'all want to hear, see, whatever, a little taste test. So that's what I'm going to do. Take a little bite with the flat and the point in there. So we got a nice little bit of fat. There's that bark. A little bitty smoke ring, which I'm okay with. But that's looking dang good right there. Let's try it. Stop it. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> all right people say melt in your mouth way too often all right but you know what i'm talking about right here american wagyu there was so much fat and marbling in here you almost need to share this with the world because uh it's it's pretty rich but fuck <laughs> but it's tasty, all right? Just recap, we uh, trimmed it up real good. I, I did that little uh, time lapse for you guys. Uh, seasoned it up with some Kirby Q, the big and bold, and the AP seasoning. Got plenty of flavor in there. Put it on the Louisiana Grill's Black Label Pellet Grill. Put the Easy Smoker Tube in there, use competition pellets, set it to 300 degrees, checked it every once in a while, spritzed it if it needed it, but pretty simple. Wrapped it up in butcher paper, put the probe back in, checked it, pulled it when it was probe tender. Okay, guys, uh, the temperature when I pulled it, I believe it was like 203, 204, but it was very tender. Obviously, there's tons of fat in this Wagyu, so you you could you know adjust your cooks accordingly. But this is this is too dang good. I'm sorry. All right, guys, that's it. If you guys want to get yourself one of these Louisiana grills, there's a link down below. I'm an affiliate. One of their brand ambassadors doesn't cost you anything more, but it helps out the channel. My knives from Dolph Strong, my cutting board from Haley Home. They have coupon codes, so save you a little bit of money on there. Again, doesn't cost you anything else. You get a little money off, actually. All right. That's it, guys. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for queuing with CJ. Take care.